from Southern Maryland's weather leader. This is a JB Weather Alert. I'm forecaster John Bordash with you in the JB Weather Center this Tuesday afternoon to give you the latest information on our powerful system that has overspread impactful rain, wind, and coastal flooding to the region. We saw rain begin to move into the region this morning and the rain has turned steady and is likely to increase in intensity this evening. The big headline here is that I'm really looking at this time period between about now at 4 o'clock and about 10 o'clock Tuesday evening, so those next six hours, as being the most impactful, both from rain and from wind. Taking on over to our Cedar Point Federal Credit Union Futurecast, right now it does show widespread rain across the region, but what Futurecast does is that it shows that we begin to take a look at widespread uh, periods of moderate rain moving to the region. We can see that by 7 and 8 o'clock, Futurecast begins to develop a squall line where we could be looking at damaging wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour and the threat of blinding heavy rain move through the region. This begins to take place this evening. Taking you back on over to the graphics, we are still looking at that elevated to significant flood risk across much of the Mid-Atlantic. Any bit of heavy rain could very quickly lead to a very dangerous flash flooding situation. Travel on area roadways is likely to be treacherous as we have uh, this heavy rain that's causing ponding on roads and could very, very quickly again lead to a flash flooding situation. Earlier today, that high wind warning was expanded to include all areas along and east of I-95, all areas there shaded in orange. And this denotes that high likelihood to see wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour, and this could lead scattered power outages. Just after 4 o'clock, we do sit with over 1,500 customers without power across the region, and we're likely going to see that number rise as winds continue to increase. Coastal flooding remains a high concern for our region. The National Weather Service is forecasting upwards of 4.6 feet worth of water rise along Solomon's Island at the Patuxent River. This could be very close to setting a new record, and the National Weather Service is forecasting a new record to be set for flooding on over towards St. George Island there along the Potomac, where we could be looking at 4.9 feet worth of water rise. Stay with JB Weather for the latest information as we head throughout the next six hours as we see high impacts from rain, wind, and coastal flooding take shape. I'll continue in coverage here on JB Weather across all of our social media platforms. You can always access my content online at jbweather.net. Have a nice and safe one. Please keep it tuned right here to JB Weather for the latest information. Check the forecast anytime online at jbweather.net.